So in this video I would like to introduce tbtag. tbtag, uh, we have also a small tag md file. You will find it in the tb documentation in the tag. And I'm just writing it so you can read it with and write it with me. So the first step uh, is we have to do the movie logic application again. Uh, let's go to the class pass. Okay, so uh, let me copy that in. We have to add tb tag wherever you like. So tb tag. Now we have tb tag inside on the class pass. That's step one. Of course, man, I do it usually with the hand. Man, you can use, of course, the build pass, configure build pass, and set it up here. It's the same way. So uh, let me close that. We have TV tag now in the build pass. Then uh, the first thing is let's run the application. Deep the new movie. Let's run the application first. Because uh, TV tag has a model. So it will successfully create four files for the template. Like usually if you have some new entities in a model, it will create uh, the rest controller. So the TV tag connection controller and the TV tag store controller. Also it will automatically create the button delegates that is the TV tag connection button delegate and the TV tag store button delegate. So we don't have to care really about it. It has created automatically, the application has stopped. The files are created and we're ready for the next step. The next step will be uh, go to the property and we have, uh, where are you? Migration.properties and here we have the migration stuff and we have to add a some before movie wherever it is it's just fine let's do it here tb tag save it uh, that's okay that's uh, let me only copy the name of the property file and uh, let's write here add the tb tag Motel to your migration property files file for creating the motel data in the database. That's step two. Then uh, we have one more step. Uh, we have to think, uh, let me open the model now. So uh, we have to open the model, that's the movie model. And uh, for the demo purpose, we will add tag to the movie. Man, I'm not really sure what, man, if it's useful for there, but it's only for demo, so let's add it here. So in the at the movie, we uh, go to the uh, entity itself, go to the user info, and add an entry, and say tp tag. So now tp tag knows this movie has tagging, and... Uh, we set here a value that will be the group name what we like to have. Uh, let's use, uh, oh, that's a good question. Sample, whatever. A movie, let's, let's use movie. So it, it's the movie entity and the group name is also movie. So let's do that. Let's save it. So we have now start uh, tagging on the movie entity with the group name movie. So write it here, add the tb tag key with 
the group name on the entity user dictionary. So that's the setup. Now let's run the application. Now let's run new movie again. It should run. now run. TP Tucks should be now try to create all the stuff that it needs. It is now running. It need it. Uh, uh, okay, man. I, I. It looks like there is. I have an error here. I will fix that later because uh, it's now running on. Uh, on MySQL, I have to check. Maybe there's a MySQL small issue on on the foreign key, but it's not a big issue. The application should run. I have never tried it on MySQL now. It's the first time. Okay, man. Anyway, let's log in. I'm logged in now as Vodka Vodka. We are here on the application. We go to the dashboard control first. On the dashboard, on the deploy, we have now a new company. The name is Textor. We click on it and it bring up uh, the text storage. So let's add uh, two or three items. First, uh, what is what uh, for the taking what can be done? Uh, let me before we go on. Let me show you the tagging at first. The TB tag that uh, the EO model. So the EO model itself, the tag store is created for Germany, English, Spanish, French, Japanese, and Brazil for now. So that means it's a multi-language tagging system. Uh, it uh, is already pre-built. We can update in future for other languages. Here on the on the application itself, in the property, we have the multilanguage.properties. This application is set up to English and Japanese. That's why TBTAG shows only English and Japanese here. If you have a, diff a third language, it would show automatically the dependent language types. So uh, now let's go to make a group. Let's make movie. A zombie. A zombie will come. A zombie. Then what else? Uh, add. We have uh, some sexy scenes. Sexy. Scenes. It's the same group name movie. Then let's add a, a different group name only for testing. That is group name Pla with Pla English and. Japanese and then let's add a movie again. Movie we have uh, let's say that uh, play in Japan. This a uh, now play in yes, play in Japan. Uh, whatever. And then make the last one that also is from the group movie. And I, I am a locked tag lock. I'm a locked tag. So we have now a few tags. We have made it in multi language. So I can show you how multi language work. Uh, we have four uh, two groups. Four in the four tags in the group with movie, 
one tag in the group if blah and one of the movie tags is locked. So let's go to movie. We are now on the movie page. Let me go to inspect. So we have here the inspect page. We haven't done anything yet. We have to add uh, the direct to web rule. So we go to direct to web. We go to the movies. Let me fit it on the, sc on the screen. So we have inspect. For here, we, we can write here, we add here a section, say tag, and here we say tb tag. tb tag is automatically the, the name. Let's save that. Let's go back. Let me clear the cache. Let's go into inspect page again. And uh, so I made something miss. Sorry. Uh, that's not a section. That should be the tag itself. That was a strange one. Let me clear the cache again. Go to inspect page. Go back. You can see now uh, the tags. All four tags are here. That means all tags are get displayed here. We have the zombie tag, sexy scene, play in Japan, and I'm a lock tag. It's in alphabetic order, and everything gets displayed here, and the lock tag has a lock here. So the inspect page is working now. Let's do that on the edit page. Let's copy this to, to the edit page over. So we have added the TP tag to the edit uh, function now, and let's take a look. For example, Lolita, we have here Lolita, we go to edit, we go to the tags, we have our tags here, I can say this has sexy scene inside, I can click that tag, I can save it, we have now tag this, uh, I have no idea about most of the, the, the movies here, um, I don't know, but let's for only for test purpose, let's say, uh, this is a sexy scene and uh, zombies inside, for example, and I can save that. Uh, also for the magnet inspect looks the same. If I go to edit again, uh, you can see uh, I can also add play in Japan or remove it. I don't can't click on the lock tag. This tag is locked, so that means I can I'm, I'm not able to remove or add a tag to a, a movie. So that means if some tags, they are already added to the movie, they cannot be removed anymore or not add anymore. That's how the log is working. How does it look in um, multi-language? Uh, let's uh, go, for example, edit page, we have it here. Let's switch to Japanese. We are in the Japanese version currently, and you can see the, um, tags are all localized now. So we have localized tags. Let's move back to English. And on the what's also new is on the list view, because we have added the tags, we have now here the tag filter, and we can click on the tag filter and can say, I would like to see all sexy scene and show me that. I see all the movies for that. Or I could also say, uh, show me uh, sexy scene and zombies, both of them. So we get also this too. Or I can say, show me where we have sexy scene and where we have zombies, both an end for filter. And if we have only this one movie. So that's how it works. So we have uh, the query on the filter on the list page. And you have, you can add the field uh, the, the tags on the inspect page, on the edit page, and on the create page. So the, it's really simple. Uh, currently, when we ha uh, there's no support for adding tags here for the user. Maybe with a future update, we'll add that for now. But this is the first version, and this was more to make tagging allow with groups. We can have multiple set of tags in a database and we can have multi, uh, we can log, and we can multi-language, and we can easily filter them. That was the first purpose, because the old tagging was really strange and broken, and we hadn't this feature. 
So that's about the tagging and thank you. <laughs>